Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So, um, I have got a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys today. And then, um, two items came in the mail, so I'm just going to throw them on at the end. Um, one of them is a back order item from Hey Santa, so I'm going to share that with you. And another is a book that I bought, um, uh, on a topic that I'm a huge fan of. So... Anyway, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around this spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Um, I just drew a total blank. <laughs> wow. It's been a long day. Not bad. Just, you know, one of those days that's just you're tired. <laughs> and so that is today. Anyway, um, what bag do I want to start with? Oh, I'll start with this. Uh, I picked up some more of the scent boosters that I like to use in my laundry. A lot of y'all have seen these before, but if you're new to my channel, I, I always use the Arm & Hammer scent crystals, and then I add these to them. And let me tell you, it smells so good. Um, and even if you are just using these on their own, for, these are fantastic for a dollar. That's all I can really tell you. Um, you know, if you want, go to your Dollar Tree. If they've got, open it up and smell it. Because, I mean, you can do it. Um, it's, it's a blue crystal. And they also have a new one that is, is it pink or orange? I can't remember. But it wasn't in stock, uh, when I went. Um, and this one and the other one mixed together, those smell great too. So just putting that out there. I normally will put one of these per bottle of like Arm & Hammer, um, crystals that I get. So I do a one-on-one. -on -one. So I really love those. Um, I think they're fantastic. Then, um, yeah, I'm going to show these. I was so excited to find these. I saw them on Karen's channel and um, I've been watching my stores, but they have, they got the, the this, okay, so everybody's like, how do you say it? That right there is pronounced cloche. So like, it's almost like C-L-O-S-H, cloche. And... And like Karen said, I don't like how shiny the base is, but... I decided uh, Saturday, probably Saturday, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to Walmart or Lowe's. I don't know which. Let me see if I can get this off of here. Yeah. Oh, that came off easy. And I'm going to tape off everything. Um, well, no, actually, you know what? I might just paint it all. I'm going to go get a, it's like a textured uh, spray paint that they have. I'm hoping that I can find it in like a matte color of some kind because I want to try and I don't really want to make it look like I can't make it look like wood. I know I can't, but I don't want it to look like plastic and that's how it looks. So I'm going to go try the spray paint, see if I can zhuzh it up, I guess is the word that I'm going for. And I have, I love twinkle lights and stuff like that. And I have a whole cabinet full of them. I grab them every Christmas, you know, after Christmas, like Walmart usually has tons of them. And so I, I grab them when they are marked down. Um, and they can be used for all kinds of projects. You can use them in your wreaths. I use them in... Here in Texas, uh, homecoming mums are a really big deal. And so my kids, after we made the mum, I hot glue gunned the battery pack to the back of the mum because there's all kinds of streamers. I've, I've, I think I've shared them a long time ago. I might have to go grab some out of my son's room because we still have them. There's so much work and so much money in my we I, I was like, you're not throwing that away. Um, but we put battery packs in them 
and filled the mum up with lights so it lit up. Um, one of my daughters, I actually um, found a small like music pack and I was able to get it to play music. So that's a lot of work, I gotta tell you. Um, those of you in Texas, y'all know the whole mum struggle. And the bigger the mum, the better. So, good lord. So, anyway, so they had these. I only grabbed five, but I think Saturday I'm going to go grab more because even if I don't use these all up this Christmas, this is going to be so much fun um, just for projects. You can um, spray paint the bottom to like, you know, Valentine's, you can go with the red bottom or, you know, white or whatever you want to do it with, decorate the inside however you want. Me, for Christmas, I'm thinking about doing some paper Christmas trees and somehow doing a snowy scene and some little miniature uh, presents on the bottom. And the lights I have are too heavy for the trees that I want to do. So what I may do is kind of like hide them up underneath the snow that I, I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, but I was so happy to find these. And I was in a hurry when I went in the store because I needed to be home. And uh, so I got five of those. There's three right there. Uh, oh, nope, I got six. Then in the same area, you get them all out because your girl is a shaker nut they had the mini vase fillers now last year they had them bigger so I got them two in the red two in the gold I only got one silver and then I only got the one bag of the small ones, you know, for the faux snowballs. And I'll probably grab one more of these uh, because I want all this stuff for shaker cards. Uh, so, and yeah, and I want to be able to mix it with like glitter and confetti, just, just a little bit. I don't want big globs. Um, I love mixes. So there's those and for this is great for a dollar um you get a lot so and you don't find them this tiny very often the let me see if i can find the ones that i grabbed last year hold on uh, i think i already put them in a christmas box Oh. So see, last year they were that big. Big, big, big difference. So when I and, and I, they, I think they had them in this size, but because I knew I already had it, I only grabbed uh, the small ones. So, but I will say that I think the glitter coverage is much nicer on these big ones than these little ones. I don't think you can see it in the camera. But, I mean, still, super pretty. But, so there are those. And this isn't a big haul. Now, I hope that these turn out neat. I got two of each. Oh, no, I did get two, two silvers. But remember the projector lights for Halloween? They've got them for Christmas. So, this one is uh, Santa and his reindeer flying over the moon. I'm trying to get it to focus. There's that one. And then this one is like just a, like a house or a village scene it's hard to see and I don't have any batteries near me right now or I would try these out for you but I picked up two my stores had a bunch of them but uh, hopefully they're as good as the Halloween ones I was really impressed with the Halloween 
um, projector lights. I picked up a couple of those so that my husband can use it in his setup. So there are those. Then I am a pine cone nut. But you don't find lots of pretty pine cones down here in my neck of the woods. So, and it helps that they smell like heaven. They're the cinnamon, um, you can't see me, I'm smelling them. But I picked up three and I, I dug through them because some of them, I mean the pine cones are really like broken up and everything. So I dug through them to find a couple of good ones. And I'm going to go dig some more. Because I have some bowls that I like to keep pine cones in. In our, which, what I call the the looky, no touchy, no city room. The front of our house the, where the antiques and stuff. <laughs> we sit in there at Christmas time. That's about it. But um, I have some Fenton candle bowls. And I like to put the pine cones around it. And then the candle comes up the center. So... Uh, I want to get some more of those. And then they did I get where did they go? They had some felt um, decorations, and I only saw three. One of them was a snowflake, and I didn't really care for it, so I left it. But they have these little Santas, which I think are absolutely adorable. So I'm going to use these to decorate some of the, the boxes I'm going to make for the for my coworkers. And then they had the ornament ones, and I only grabbed two. So, but I think, and they're, they're actual stickers. They're, you peel off the back and it sticks. So I think I'm going to go back and grab more of these because I like to have like a lot of, I like my gift tags to be three dimensional. So, and for a dollar, I think that's a pretty good deal for those stickers. So I grabbed those. I told y'all this is short. I'm almost done. I'm going to do that. Okay those down there <sighs> y'all know I always tell you I'm a I'm a freak about stuff in my teeth so I picked up some more of these um, little and they are really soft they do not hurt at all um, so I got these to stick at my in my desk at work I get have these in addition to the flossers that I've showed before and these are nice because I'm trying to get it out. Hold on. They come with the carrying case. So, you can stick that in a little a pocket in your purse. You can buy um, these here and refill it. Um, now, my Dollar Tree doesn't have... I don't think they have these anymore just to like this. But I know if you go to like Walmart in the dental aisle, you can find these and just, you know, refill it on your own. But you grab it and it just snaps off. And um, yeah, so picked those up because I love these things. And then the last thing I got from Dollar Tree, I really hope these hold up. Um... They are a great idea, but I don't think I'm going to put it on my keychain. I'm just going to have it. They, they were up at the registers, but there it says no touch key. And so you can put this on your key ring. And if you see here, look, they're holding it and they're grabbing a handle to pull the door open so they don't have to touch the handle. Or you can use the little tip here and you can touch the keypad so you're not touching the keypad. You Because know, it, it cracks me up. They sit there and they cover the keypad with a piece of plastic. But they never replace the piece of plastic and so it's still filthy. And so I, I'm like, 
I don't want to touch the keypad. <laughs> I know a lot of y'all are just like me, but um, these were the three that I grabbed. So this one's like a pretty like green, different shades of green. And then this one is pastel. So there's some purple and pink and a little bit of green in that one. And these two are the same shape. This one is different. This one is clear with blue. I don't know if it says something or not. I have no idea. But it's, it's a completely different shape from the other two. But... So I thought that was awesome. I don't know. Um, I might like send this idea to my father-in-law because he works with metal and maybe he can cut me one out of metal. I don't know. But that, I think that's, that is fantastic. And I'm probably going to go grab more of these so I can put them in stocking stuffers because yeah, we need these in our lives. So there's that. Now, the two items that came in, um, I'm going to do the fun one for you guys first, because it's craft, but the back order item for the Hey Santa collection that I got from a Cherry on Top arrived, and that was the, the 6x8 uh, paper pad. So... Like, I literally just got it, so I haven't... Oh, I'm not going to take this, the deals off. We're just going to... And it's single-sided, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, the Hey Santa, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It is a super cute collection. If you loved Merry Days, then you're going to love Hey Santa, is pretty much how I look at it. And there's a cut apart there. That one says Merry Christmas. We have some Starbursts. Snowmen. And th so this is basically just a, a 6x8 version of the 12x12 12 12 that I showed a couple videos back. And I'm a sucker for houses. Y'all know that. More cut apart, plaid. And so, yeah. So, was happy that that finally came in. I, I was surprised. It was like in the mailbox. I was like, oh, okay. And then the last item is uh i'm a constitutionalist okay i'm a huge proponent of the constitution you know the amendments the bill of rights all that and so i decided to get this so i could have some read the know your bill of rights book don't lose your constitutional rights learn them so Educate and inform the whole mass of the people. They are the only reliance for the preservation of our liberty. Thomas Jefferson. So, I ordered this two days ago. You gotta love Amazon. So, this only goes up to, uh, this, this does the ten, 10 of the amendments. Well, this does... The, the Bill of Rights. And then there's also some amendments in here, I think. Um, if you are wanting to understand it better, it gives you a um, dictionary in the back. It looks like oh, Ralph Waldo Emerson. So, yep, glossary. So, really, really awesome. Anywho, so there's that. When I have another book coming... Uh, she's a new author that I just learned about, and so I wanted to check her out too. But anyway, that is my haul. Um, not sure what I've got planned for tomorrow. Well, actually, uh, I probably won't be on tomorrow. Tomorrow is card club night, so I will be um, crafting with my friends tomorrow. So excited about that and then uh, I get to learn how to use my smoker on Sunday so I'm smoking and I'm doing it I, I'm the one I love my husband but the man can't grill he doesn't have the patience he grills hockey pucks <laughs> um, so I do the grilling but now we have a smoker so I'm going to learn how to smoke a brisket so I'm really excited about that 
so that's so there's that and the fact that I'll be working in the craft room some more this weekend so Sunday y'all will definitely get an update um, and I may have something else I don't know yet I really haven't been shopping I think I've got some tonic coming in that's about you know that's not true because I hmm oh I have some wood mount stamps that should be coming I think my B Clyben I've got three new B Clybens that are coming in and they're hard to find stamps so I'm super excited about those anyway I have run my mouth enough we are 20 minutes in I gotta go fold some laundry take my medicine and hop into bed so that I can get Friday over with so with that love you guys to pieces as always Happy crafting. Bye-bye.